All I could see was fat. Every time I looked in the mirror. They called it body dysmorphia. I was always bigger than the other kids. The ones who bullied me from the moment I started school. I was 11 pounds, 13 ounces when I was born. And by 13 years, I was 6 foot 1 and 175 pounds. Why wouldn't they make fun of me? At home, my mom and dad fought. All of us did. We knew our parents were just waiting for me and my sister to graduate high school before they divorced. The air was tense and my sister and I threw all of our frustration into punches at each other. So that was bad. In school, it was worse. C's and D's. I couldn't see beyond the pain. I stopped really eating. My muscles ached. I'd sit up at 3 a.m. and work out. I'd constantly shake my legs, thinking that that would help me burn calories. It hurt to live. When I moved, my arms felt like a needle was sticking them. My calves hurt when I stood up. I felt woozy. A constant headache started. The only peace I found was when I was sleeping. I had failed at school. At everything. My mom sat down with me one night and had me look at old photos of me and my sister. She said I was looking very skinny, and I decided to come out about my habits. My heart broke when I saw the look on her face. Her tears tore me apart. She said, baby, I don't want you to ever feel that way. You were a miracle from birth, and I fought to keep you alive since you were born. I can't believe you would just throw that away. My mom isn't here anymore, but I think about her every day. She was invincible. Her words that day gave me the courage to begin pushing out the negative thoughts. When one of my old habits started, I tried to do the opposite thing. I ate during the day. I listened to music at night to help me go to sleep. I powered through. With my mom's memory, I know I can do this. I'm making a new life for myself.